Well, you guys, we have come to the end of this project, and I'd just like to say I am definitely pleased with the performance of the Popo Man impact driver. I will say that at the beginning we were off to a rough start, but we figured it out. We finished 90% of this 25 foot deck on this uh, gooseneck. So that's pretty impressive with one battery. It's only a 20 volt battery. We did have the assistance of my DeWalt 20 volt Max XR which is a kick butt tool. But for what this tool is designed, I would say this is designed for the hobbyist slash homeowner slash beginner contractor, maybe beginning stages of contracting. It's a cheap tool to get your foot in the door. So definitely please. What we did with this tool was way past what it, it was designed for. We're pushing these two and a half inch, five sixteenths screws through a two by eight into quarter inch steel with a pilot hole. So, I mean, I'd say I'm pretty impressed. The intended use of this drill, this impact driver is, you know, just mainly just screwing screws into wood, not an issue. Screwing screws into metal, not an issue. These are some really big screws, really heavy duty. As you can see, it held its own. Definitely impressed with it. You know, it drove these all the way in. And we did end up breaking this bit right here with the Popo Man. It shattered this. As you can see, it shattered it. Drove it right into the, right into there. The bit was wedged in there when I pulled it out, the bit stayed in. Like I said, guys, I would consider this tool a great tool for a homeowner, do it yourself person who's very oriented in doing things yourself great home improvement project impact driver the batteries lasted you know pretty much the whole time it says it's on the first notch after doing this whole deck you know we really put it through its paces with these thick big heavy duty screws these are construction lag screws and they're very heavy duty so i mean you can see the heavy dutiness of these and we're forcing it into you know quarter inch just a hair under quarter inch thick steel. Obviously there's a pilot hole, but still, nonetheless, impressed. We, we did get off to a rough start, but it definitely pulled through and definitely finished the job. I'm impressed. Definitely worth the $90 or whatever it costs to buy this. It's definitely worth what it costs to buy this. I'm working with Popo Man to give you some sort of a discount. It'll be in the link in the description to get this. Grandpa said he was impressed. The initial startup, when we first started using it, it got off to a rough start, and that was mainly user error. These lag screws, because they're so thick and we're drilling them into metal, they have to be precisely in the center of the hole for them to even go in, right? So if it's just off a little bit, it will not go through that steel. It just will not, it'll spin and spin and spin and won't go through. So uh, we were off to a rough start, we figured it out and it performed as it should have. My personal opinion, I will say uh, this DeWalt Max XR has more power. It, it definitely has more power, but is it worth the extra $100? That's debatable. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely, what are you gonna buy it for? What are you gonna use it for? You know, if you're a homeowner, you don't need this kind of power. You don't, you're just gonna break stuff. This will definitely get the job done and it will still break stuff if you're not careful. As you can see, I mean, it just toasted that that bit, you know, that T30 bit is just toast. So these lag screws, very heavy duty, and it did over 50 of them in the two by eight quarter inch thick steel T-channel, obviously with the pilot hole, but it still did it, I'm impressed. And we still got battery to spare, you know? If we were just screwing wood together, you know, just screwing two by fours together, dude, this thing would rock all day long. Guaranteed. I mean, there, I have no doubt in my mind that this would do all, it would screw two by fours all day long or four by fours, you know, screwed. I mean, we're going through quarter inch thick steel that is not tapped for these. So, you know, they tap their own holes. So I'm, I'm impressed. I would say there was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven screws at the, you know, probably 10, probably 10, 10 uh, construction lag screws that the Popo Man didn't get in. Um, 
mainly because of user error. I wasn't getting the screw directly in the hole. Um, and it was losing some juice at the there at the end, you know, which is definitely to be expected from what we're putting it through. I love this bag. I love this bag. This this is a very nice bag. I mean, it's it's heavy duty. It's got two layers of fabric. It's got an inside layer and it's got an outside layer. It's higher quality than my Dewalt bag that they gave me with mine. So. And we got the Dewalt bag. Now, granted, I've had this Dewalt bag for probably close to 10 years. This bag has lasted me pretty long. As you can see, this is getting threadbare. So I'm impressed with the bag. Like the bag. I like the ergonomics of this screwdriver. Very ergonomic. I like where my middle finger goes in that groove. It feels really good. I also like the fact that the bottom is rubber non-slip you know it grips slick surfaces a lot better than the competition with their hard plastic that's definitely something dewalt can improve on it's got hard plastic bottom so it's very slippery you know just angle it a little bit it's gonna stay it's not gonna flip over backwards the dewalt seen that right next thing you know your tool is tumbling down the roof See that so that's pretty fair right there I'm showing you guys exactly the same thing this this rubber far superior than just you know if you set this on a roof like this you can't even set it on this way because it'll definitely it'll tip over but the nice thing about the DeWalt is it does have these rubber pads here on the sides so if you do set it down flat it's less likely to go somewhere Same with Popo, man. But, as I showed you, boom, DeWalt. Boom, let's jump into fixing the trailer. So the grain of the wood does matter a little bit, right? So the tree was like this, right? Obviously you can see the grains. Wood naturally sheds water on the outside compared to the inside. If you hold it like this, it's gonna hold the water into the wood. So you want it shedding the water off the wood, the grains. Pro tip.
I'll be honest with you I really wanted to use this thing to drill these screws in it just won't do it I'll show you this thing is it's got a full battery too you can see it's got a full battery it just doesn't have the ump that the DeWalt has so I'll show you real quick. I picked it back up because I was amazed that it actually drove it in that time. Oh, there we go. I guess it does have a little bit of that one that just didn't want to go in. Maybe, I don't know. made to drive these in. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's doing it. I guess it does have the power that the DeWalt does. You just have to press this up a lot harder so well it doesn't have the same power but it does have enough to put these in well i guess there you have it folks okay so you want to cut three more boards we got room this does put them in So now you guys will be able to see this one going through with the Popo Man. All right, so this drill isn't really designed to go through this. This is thicker than eighth inch thick steel. This is um, this is quarter inch thick where the drill, where the screw is going in, right? So it's really going in and these are really biting on the on the metal so is this the correct application for these particular screws not really but yes it's the best option because using these carriage bolts is a great idea and all except for each bolt the nut would have to be hand tightened with a open end wrench to get it tight because of the way this c channel is designed you can't get anything up in there that's where we're at Popo man, it's doing it. It's doing getting the job done. The DeWalt definitely drives them a little bit faster, but hundred dollar difference. I mean, this is definitely getting the job done. It's not really warming up. This part up here is getting it's a little bit warm. Not warm, warm. It's not hot. It's just warm. It's doing it extra heavy. Yeah, I mean, it's not designed to do what we're making it do. At first, I didn't think it was put, it wasn't driving them in at first, but I wasn't pushing hard enough. And with the way this particular drill is, I'm guessing the anvil inside of there or the hammer, it hammers harder when you're pushing. And that is designed so when you're doing a normal screw, the impact and the anvil in here doesn't start impacting until you have a certain amount of torque needed to get the screw in. So I'm guessing that's why uh, you have to press harder to get it to push them in. I don't know.
it's showing. That's the edge. You got it. What do you guys think of this project? It's going pretty good. Now that we got things figured out. Yeah, you got grandpa trained. We still got full battery after doing half the deck just about on this yeah. popo man. Yeah, it might be the batteries just a little too low to hit these other ones in. Popo man, after about halfway through the deck, the half battery is slowing us down. We did all right though. Once we got the hang of using it. Getting her done, half battery too. Over half of the bed. Half battery. And we are two thirds of the way done. So now we- I missed the hole, that's why it wasn't going into now them. Now we can cut two Still, bars. still doing it. Fine, we can cut two. 